Hi, in this video, we are going to learn about the filter row component in Talent. The filter row component can be used to either include or exclude records from a flow. In other words, it is used to filter out data. Now this operation is very similar to applying a WHERE clause in a SQL query. Let's see how we can use this when transferring data from a file to a SQL Server table. Let us start by creating a new job. Under job design, I'll right click, click on create job. We will call this job T filter row underscore demo. Click on finish. Now, what I want to do is I want to be able to read from uh, a file which is here on the desktop. So here you can see in the CSV file, I have uh, exactly two records uh, along with the header. Now I only want to include the last record where the employee ID is 102. Now this is equivalent of, let's say, specifying a where clause in your SQL query. And I want to be able to read the data from this file and load to a SQL Server table. You will see I've already created a SQL Server table called mock data and it has some records as well. So let me first truncate the table. Now if I run the select query again, you'll see the table has no records. I'll close the spreadsheet, head back to talent. So the first thing I want to do is read from a file. So I'll head over to the file, input, drag and drop the T file input delimited component. Under the component configuration, select the file from the desktop, which is mockdata.csv. Check the CSV options box. The field separator by default is semicolon. I'll replace that with a comma. I'll also specify that the first row of the CSV file is a header with this option. Now since this is reading from a file and not from a database, I'll have to manually specify the schema. Click on Edit Schema. Add a new entry for the first column which is Employee ID. Add the second entry for the second column which is the Employee Name. Click on OK. So the input component is ready. Now we need to configure our output. In the palette under databases, I'll head over to DB common, drag and drop the TDB output. Double click on the component, select Microsoft SQL Server click on apply. Under property type, I'll select repository, select local SQL server. So that way many of these values get filled automatically. But I still want to change the value of the database because my target table is not in the AdventureWorks data warehouse, it is in the test database. So just a single click Select the first radio button, which is change to built-in property. Click on OK. Now you can replace the database name with test database. I'll click on the browse list here to select the mock data, which is the name of the target table. 
click on OK. So now we have the input and the output. But we still need a component that can filter out the data. So for that, I'll head over to processing. We have the T filter row. Drag the output from the first component into filter row and again from T filter row to the DV output. If you click on the data pipeline, which is a row one and row two here, you will see the schema is the same. Configure the T filter row by double clicking on it. Right now, there is there are no conditions at all for filtering out any records. Click on plus. We can say input column is employee ID. When employee ID equals 101, it has to ex pass dot record. Right? Or we can also change it to let's say 102, which means only those records that satisfy this condition, which is where employee ID equal to 102. Only those will be processed further. Everything else will be rejected. Now let me run this job. Now here it says the T filter demo has an error. Just click on OK. There is an indication that there's something wrong in the T filter row. Double click. And I know that the employee ID is being read as a string from the CSV file. But however, here we have given it as a number. Simply enclosing it in double quotes makes it treat it as a string. So let's see if this works. The job completed. And here you can make some observations. The T file input delimited processed two rows to the filter row component. The filter row component in turn processed one row and passed it on to the DB output. Let's head over to the database to see what that one record is. So here we can see that of the two records that were there in the CSP file, only that record which had the value of 102 for employee ID has been written to the database. Any other records that did not match this criteria have been rejected. So with this, we can say that the T filter row is working as expected. To summarize, the T filter row is a useful component that mimics the behavior of a where clause, which can be used to filter records from being passed to the further components. Thank you.